Hello, and welcome to one more chapter with me, Kay, Amalina, and my cat, Zelda. Today I'm going to cover my April book haul, and first I want to start with saying that I had been on vacation last week. I went to Buffalo, and one of the stores that we stopped at was this cute little hole-in-the-wall used bookstore that I absolutely loved, and I did find a couple of really cool things there. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Luna by Julianne Peters. And this is a book about a sister with a transgender sibling and everything that the sister does to support their sibling through their transition and through bullying and through not understanding. Even though it's a YA book and there's a little bit of drama with the sister and trying to lead her own life, it's a really touching book so far. Um, and I can't wait to actually get to read this one. It's important, I think, to see this perspective that's not so often told about in YA fiction. So, there's Luna. And the next book that we have is State of Wonder by Anne Patchett. This book is about a student and a doctor who is in search of her former mentor who had been lost for some time in the Amazon jungle. So we have a different setting that I haven't read much about, and we have a different kind of character that I haven't read much about, and I feel like this is going to be a good novel. Um, it's set in the middle of the Amazon, like I said before, and the idea was that the person, this main character, this protagonist is trying to find, has been gone for a while, and she has to navigate this whole new like wilderness without knowing exactly where she's going. So I think this one's going to be a good read. I'm not sure when I'm going to read it, but I will review it as soon as I do. So there's this one again. And those were a couple of the ones that I found at the used bookstore. So the next part of this haul is going to be the books that I bought, of course, because let's face it, that's all I ever do is spend any extra money on books. So the first one I'm going to cover is Moth and Spark by Anne Leonard. And this is one that I'm in the middle of right now. See, I'm about halfway done. I got this one at the independent bookstore downtown, and while the cover is amazing, that's not all that pulled me into this story. This is about a prince who gets kind of chosen or poisoned or something to be this, like, dragon tamer thing. And he his quest is to free the dragons from the control of some, like, overlording empire. And they've been enslaved for some reason for a while, and at the same time there's this love story between him and a commoner who's uh, got some future vision thing that she can do that is really smart and knows a lot of stuff about, like, medicine. And so we see not only this story of him trying to, like, fulfill this prophecy, but also this love story. And so far, I really love this book. Like, I can't put it down, so I can't read it a lot because otherwise no homework would get done ever. But I can't wait to actually finish this one. I think this will be the review for next week if I can, you know, hurry it along a little bit. But I'm sure that I will. The next book that I want to talk about is Queen of the Dark Things by C. Robert Cargill. And this one I picked up at Barnes & Noble, where one of my best friends works, and it just kind of, I picked it up and it seemed really interesting to me, and I kind of really want to read it. I haven't started it yet, but it might be TBR. And this one is about a wizard who lost one of his best friends to some dark creatures that are starting to pop up around his city. Um, so his goal is, seems to be to destroy these dark creatures and to defeat the darkness that is gathering around his kingdom, and I think it's going to be a pretty cool adventure book. So this might be TBR pretty soon. This one looks pretty good. The next book that I want to talk about is one that I picked up the River's End, which is the independent bookstore that I spoke about before. It's one that I had been wanting to read for a while. It is The Mathmaker's War by Ronlin Dominique. And this is about a character who is making a map of the kingdom and it's kind of like a really prestigious position it's really difficult but she finds a secret village outside the known borders of the realm and this is her autobiography i don't want to give too much away because i did start to read a little bit of it and i mean the back of the book kind of gives away a lot so this is a told as an autobiography but it's not the only book that i have from this author the next one is the chronicle of secret Urban. And this kind of continues the idea that it's a thousand years after the Mapmaker's War, and this this character named Secret is trying to figure out all of this craziness that's coming with that uh, manuscript that 
nobody knows who it belongs to or how this particular character can translate it and it causes all kinds of internal strife and things like that and I, I really enjoy the author's voice so far. I think these are really high up on the TBR list next to read because they seem really interesting. The premises are something that I have I haven't really encountered before, so I think these are going to be good. The next book I want to talk about is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is another one I bought at the River's End, and this one is one that I kind of wanted for a while because it kind of reminded me of like historical fiction, but I'm not sure exactly where it's going. The back of the book doesn't really give too much of a premise, but I still, I really wanted to read it just by reading a few sentences that said, this character is on a revenge story. Okay, so I've been learning in my fiction classes that that's kind of one of the major things that people pay attention to are these revenge stories or these tales of trying to avenge someone that has been dead or has been killed and has been lost and it's kind of awesome so I think if I'm not mistaken this one is a YA book but I really want to read it anyway so that one's on the TBR list and I'm glad that I finally got a chance to pick it up and the last part that I want to talk to you guys about is books that have been given to me so for the first book I want to talk about it's from my book pen pal which I might have talked about in a different video she sends me a book every single month or maybe two books and I send one back to her because we might just hang out in our own corner of our bookstores. Like I hang out in the fantasy fiction and sci-fi section and she might hang out in YA a little bit but I haven't been reading much of that and she hasn't been reading much of what I read and so we recommend books to each other this way and I feel like it's actually I've read a couple of the ones that she has given me or I've started reading some of them and I feel like it's a good way to kind of expand a little bit and see what's being written today. That being said I'm going to talk about the books that were given to me this month. The first one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And this is the YA novel from my book pen pal. This is about an orphanage that was abandoned and yet somebody who discovers it finds these weird pictures of these kids and decides that okay there's some story here that we have to figure out what happened to this place. Who were these children? What happened to them? And he finds out that maybe things aren't exactly as they seemed and maybe this abandoned orphanage on this abandoned island isn't as empty as you would think it would be. The format with all these pictures in the text seems really interesting. It's not something that I have seen personally and I think this would be a really good read. I heard good things about it. It was on my wish list and I think, I think this is pretty high up on the TBR list. And the last book that I want to talk about is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I had made a trip to Buffalo this past week and one of my dear friends that I stayed with over the vacation gave this book to me. She said, well, I have two copies of it and I feel like you would like it. And you know what? I probably will. I enjoyed the movie just saying, and I've kind of wanted to read this one for a while. Um, so I mean, I'm not going to spoil the movie because the premise of the book would also be the premise of the movie, so go ahead and look it up and look up the movie, and I feel like it's interesting, at least for me, to watch the movie first to see, you know, to not be so disappointed. I think it's important to always read the book after the movie, if possible, if you even know there's a book, but especially this one, I kind of want to see what the changes were, and I didn't want to be disappointed by the movie if the book is, of course, course going to be 10,000 times better. So there's Water for Elephants and I'm excited to start to read this one. I'm not sure when I'm going to get to it but I will eventually. And there you go. This is the book haul for this time and I'll be back next week probably with a review or a book discussion or both. So hang in there and hit subscribe if you want to see more of my rambling. Thank you!